The hardest part about grieving around the holidays is that it's the holidays. Grief becomes magnified when we look at the people around us and we see them full of joy for the holiday season, full of the Christmas spirit. And although maybe we would want that for ourselves, we may not feel like being part of the holiday spirit of the season. And I get that. So today I'm going to tell you about an option that I have, a workshop that's coming up that you can participate in to help you through this holiday season. Welcome back. I want to give you a couple of tips and tools that you can use during the holiday season. But first, I want to tell you the number one tool that you can do for yourself this holiday season is jump into my workshop. I have a four hour workshop on December 16th that is coming up. It's going to be two hours uh, with a break and then another two hours to give you the support that you need to make it through the holiday season. I don't want you to feel alone. So this will give you the opportunity to be on a Zoom call with other people who know what you're going through. You can ask your questions. You can talk about what's going on. And then we can talk about the holiday season and the things that you can do to help make it through, to make it less stressful, to take care of yourself, to give yourself the self-care that you need to get through the holiday season without missing the whole thing completely. So let's talk more about the stress during the holidays, how to overcome some of that loneliness, and what you can do to make sure that this holiday season doesn't hurt more than it has to. So by way of tips, I think the biggest thing is to acknowledge that the holiday season is upon us, that while you may want to avoid all of it, you're not going to be able to. You may be able to avoid some of it, but you're not going to be able to avoid all of it. And so what that means is that you need to plan. You need to create a plan based on who you are, where you are in your grief, and what you need to make sure that you are taken care of. I have this concept that's called massive self-care. And it's basically caring for yourself in a way that's more massive than you can imagine. So when you feel like you've done enough to really, really take care of yourself, my advice is to go one extra step and make it massive self-care. And what does that mean? Massive self-care can be going to situations when you want to, but avoiding them when you don't when you don't feel up to it. It can be making sure that you don't overtax yourself and only do the things that are really, really important to you. So prioritizing the things that are most important, making sure that you are letting yourself have enough downtime to grieve. I like to put in place scheduled grieving opportunities so times when you can let the emotions and the intensity of what you're feeling out so that you don't have to worry about that coming out necessarily when you're not expecting it. So I call this controlled grief and we'll talk more about that. And then finally, your grief needs a place to go. You have to find a way to get your emotions out, whether it be on paper, whether it be in a recording, whether it be talking to someone, a therapist, a coach like myself, a friend who really understands you deserve and you need to be heard. Uh, and so I want to make sure that you have that available. And then finally, if this is a hard holiday season, don't try to be overly positive. Don't subject yourself to trying to be happy all the time when that's not what you're really feeling. So I want to encourage you to be true to your emotion and do the things that warm your heart. 
do the things that bring you comfort during the holiday season. The things that, maybe the things that you did with your loved one that are a reminder of them that will make you feel closer. Or maybe it's just spending time with the people that you love in a small and intimate setting, people who understand what you're going through so that you don't have to feel uncomfortable where there's space for you to actually feel a little bit of joy, yes, but at the same time, be saddened by the fact that your loved one is not with you this Christmas. Those are my tips to help you through the holidays. We're gonna talk about all of those and so much more during our four hour workshop if you have questions, let me know. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. There will be more holiday survival content coming out. And I want to encourage you to reach out to me about the workshop. We can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and see if the workshop is right for you before you have to decide. My name is Catherine McNulty. This is Grief Inspired, and I want to help you find your path to happiness after loss.